So what we are really watching is how a tropical wave will interact with the cold front that's stalling out near Florida, right? But here's that high pressure. It's still very much going to impact us. Be well over that heat dome still impacting Corpus Christi into the weekend. But as it shifts and moves a little bit into next week and we see the potential for that tropical wave and low chance of tropical development make its way across the Gulf, our moisture is going to increase. So while we may not have direct impacts from whatever may develop in the Gulf, it is still going to increase our moisture and will help us see the chance for more sea breeze storms, even again, if that that main low doesn't head straight for us. So when we are monitoring the tropics, we do have a 60% chance of development there in the Atlantic. Not too worried about these impacting Texas. What we are watching is that potential development in the Gulf. And so we are going to see the chance for that developing possibly a little bit more north, and that would keep most of the heavy rain out of South Texas, but provide us with that chance of a few sea breeze showers. There's still a chance of a southern track when we look at the ensembles. So the range of those spaghetti models, right? Uh, for just two of the models. So each model has their own kind of spaghetti plot and the ensemble data still has it anywhere between Brownsville and kind of New Orleans, Louisiana. The most rain for us would be if the storm passes just south of Corpus Christi, kind of near Clayburg, Northern Kennedy County. That would provide us with the most rainfall. Uh, Southern track would keep a lot of it still to our south. That piece of energy that may develop is right here over the Caribbean right now. We're going to see that interact with that cold front by Sunday. So Sundays when we're really going to have a better idea of where the system might go and how things will play out across Texas. Once there is a disturbance, then the models can really latch on to where it might go. But where we see the most energy, that's where the most rain is going to be. But I want to point out while there it is going to interact with some Saharan dust, which could keep this uh, potential system a bit weaker. There is still going to be a lot of moisture associated with it. And even without a direct impact, we are going to see an increase in our tropical moisture. So there we have it. Tuesday is our best chance of rain. I'm keeping it more on the conservative side for rain chances for now. 